Talking about colonization as something of the past without any relevance to present issues is failing to appreciate the trauma and disruption that colonization has caused and continues to cause. Today's video is brought to you by Obafa. If you are interested in current affairs, history, politics, and being socially connected, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out more about the Obafa app. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's critical to examine the premise, objectives and structure of the colonial project to be able to identify its consequences to this day and not contribute to it. Here are some examples of how colonization is still palpable in African countries at many levels to this very day. Religion. Religion has been a pillar of colonialism. Disguised under a so-called necessity to civilize, religion was used to advance Western hegemony and antagonize non-Western people, in this case, African people, by presenting them as inherently inferior and in need of salvation. Uh, Livingston was a, he was an explorer. Livingston, he says, the end of the exploration, which appears to be for commercial reasons, no, no, that's the beginning of mission. We can explore, we can establish trade routes, we can establish stations, but London Missionary Society, it was the biggest of the interdenominational societies. Their simple aim was to establish mission stations worldwide. Free trade, it was thought, was going to revolutionize the world by bringing peoples into connection with each other. And I think most missionaries thought in terms of these free trade ideas. A direct result of this philosophy is the introduction and propagation of Christianism by Europeans and the association of traditional African religions and any elements of African spirituality to evil on the other. The incoherence and irony of Europeans assessing African spiritual and religious beliefs as evil when they were themselves involved in dehumanizing, kidnapping and trafficking African people for centuries seems, however, not to be questioned to this day by many African followers of these religions. To this day, the only official religions in most African countries that have been colonized remain linked to Christianity and Islam. Effectively continuing projects of colonialism and exploitation to eradicate the African identity. The London Missionary Society, 12,000 pound, if not more so in debt, battling, battling to keep up with his vision. He wanted to open up Africa. He started talking to the, the Foreign Office in Britain. Because he was dealing at the same time with the British government, uh, who were prepared to finance him on this Zambezi expedition and give him both the title consul that he needed and the funds. As Dr. J. E. Kwegir Agre said, it is time that Africans and those who are committed to Africa's liberation from a colonial paradigm internalize that only the best is good enough for Africa. What do you think about today's topic? Join the conversation using the Obafa app. Become part of the voice of Africa and make yourself heard with Obafa. You can also make friends with thousands of people who share the same thoughts and feelings about Africa. With Obafa in your pocket, wherever you go, you will never feel alone, misunderstood or unable to talk about anything relating to Africa again. Obafa, owned by Africans for Africans. Be sure to check out the description below for all the information. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our African videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or even topics about Africa that you'd like us to cover.